With us today at Market, we have Pelle Guldborg Hansen, CEO and founder of I Not You, to tell us more about notching and marketing. So what, what is your best advice to companies that will notch customers to change behavior? The best advice is to look at your product and go through the literature. Um, basically, is, 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 is your product something that is about moving sales from a similar product to your product, or is it about adopting and take up? A lot of the literature which is currently used in marketing is about how to start up social processes with you know, kind of ambassadors or uh, key persons liking your product. But there are other things that you can gain from this literature, simply about anything from what time during the day do you present your product, but also especially if I'm going to take a nice example, uh, there's a furniture company in Denmark, when it repairs or it comes to substitute a good which were, uh, was damaged during uh, the postage, um, then what they do is that they leave a bottle of wine for you, or a box of chocolate, so they, you, know, you might receive a chair, it might be damaged uh, while it was sent. Uh, so they come out and then they, they, they kind of substitute the good, but then they leave a bottle of wine. And this means in memory that basically what the customer remembers is getting a chair, getting a service and getting a bottle of wine. They don't remember the hassle. So that makes them much more likely to come back and have a favorable evaluation of the product um, just because you put in that little bottle of wine or that little box of chocolate, which has a nice way of toying with, with, with memory. Um, so instead of having a customer who says it's a hassle buying stuff online, then you have a customer says, who's, who's saying that even when it becomes a hassle, then you're rewarded so it pays off. So that's, that's really also uh, one of the, the things that you can do. Um, but, but there is a huge literature and it is so specific because choices and behavior is extremely contextual. So there are no general advice. It's, it's very difficult, different from whether you're selling eggs or whether you're selling cheese or the kind of pricing that you're using. Most of the low fruits have already been, been taken. Uh, for instance, the, the very well-known effect, which is called the left digit, right digit effect, which is about advertising something at the price of 9.95 rather than at 10. Uh, those kind of fruits have been taken. Everybody knows about them. So the, the, the advice which is left is more specialized to your particular product. And there, there is a vast literature, but it really requires you to go into that literature. Then you can really kind of harvest the benefits from this. So just to give one examples of, example of, of, of how you can, 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 can use these effects is that we, we work a lot in airports because there's really nice data there. And um, there, many times there have been people out in gate systems to see how you can get people to move more effectively into the planes, right? And all the time the model have been based about, on kind of how to make the process more rational. So what would people do if they were rational and how do we make them more rational in this situation? Recently we just went out into the airport after other companies had been there and then we looked about how do you get people to board effectively and instead of assuming that they should be rational, then just assuming that they do all the kinds of weird things that people do in airports. We did a lot of mixes of interventions, all based on kind of things that shouldn't have any influence uh, on us in, in, in principle. But it turned, out that we could, it turned out that we could actually decrease the time it took for people to board a plane with almost five minutes on average. For instance, by just showing you how you should put forward your passport and your uh, boarding pass uh, and showing you thereby also that you have to show them both, um, you could actually get the, the boarding time significant, uh, you know, boarding time reduced quite a lot. Um, but again, the tools that you need in that situation are very specific to how people act when they have to show something by hand in a very noisy and complex environment. So there's a special literature there about buttons and nuts, about hand movements that you have to go into. But if you, if you learn that literature, which is very specific to your area, then you'll be able to move things um, quite significantly. So the, the best advice would be um, all of the general advice have been taken. Now you have to go into the more specific advice about how your customers actually react with regards to your products in your situation. Uh, here at last, uh, you come from the uh, university environment. Uh, what do you expect of uh, research and science in, in this area? Well, 
I expect it to deliver better models and better tools and better interventions. But there is this dilemma all the time because what we often see is that when we present our research, some of the first to adopt the research are those who have problems in selling something which are not perhaps what society paid in the first instance for research to do. So um, when you go out of Disneyland, for instance, in, in, in Paris, what you will have is soft drinks machines uh, with the sound of a bottle of soft drink being open. So it goes like when you go past it. Um, that's used as a, as a general trigger of association to, to get people to, to kind of be tempted to buy soft drink. It has a, it's a, it has a long history, that technique going back to Stanford. Um, but nobody at Stanford was thinking about and nobody funded that research with the aim of selling more Coca-Cola to people in Disneyland. But the same techniques can be used for getting people to wash their hands at to in toilets at the, when they've been at the toilet. Um, and we haven't seen it used there. So of course, as researchers, we would like to see our knowledge being used in the right way for the good things. Unfortunately, the early adopters are usually people who have a more murky agenda than that. Um, but I do see a huge potential today with new techno technological developments where you can actually have businesses with their customer database and delivering really good data for researchers to hook up with. And that's the main game changer we have seen in the last 10 years. Beforehand, researchers were asked to come out and create the data uh, because businesses wouldn't work with data that much. Now businesses know how to collect data, they have huge data sets. So now it's about how to use that data and how to analyze it, but also to understand how consumers create that data so you might get better data for you, not just in the sense of data, but also in the sense of good sales. Okay, so we can uh, conclude that, that notching is a very, very strong uh, thing. So we have to, to be um, careful and um, have a, do it for, for the goods of the society and for the customers. I, th I think with these highly mobile markets today, one of the most important things for a company to consider is that it becomes easier and easier and less and less costly for a consumer to move from one product to another product. They can do it by their phone now. You can sit at home in your couch and you can change the, the company who delivers your television for you, right? Uh, the, the channels. And in that environment, there you have to really deliver rock solid good products that the customers want to continue to use and where you have high credibility. And that means that you have to be the best one to deliver whatever you're producing. And to do that, you will have to know something about human behavior and human psychology, not just to sell a one-off item and then you know, laugh the way to the bank, but actually to make the consumer come back, want more and be happy with the product. Thank you very much. You're welcome.